<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video, I'm one to show you a little bit of a PlayStation 4 customization. Now, in some previous videos, some people might have noticed that the X and B looked a little bit different on here, and this is just how it looks by default, but the X and B being changed previously was thanks to a pretty awesome application from developer Lappy called Icon Mask. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all just real quickly where to find it, how to install it, and how to really customize your PlayStation 4 to give it a little bit more of a cooler look depending on what exactly you're wanting. On here, you're of course going to need your jailbroken PlayStation 4, the basics of how to run it and utilize it, as well as a USB drive to transfer the application over. Let's go ahead and go over to our computer to get started on this. Now, I will say with the way Lappy ends up releasing things on here, typically he'll do something like this, where he will tweet out the link and everything to this. So the link that I'm going to provide might be a little bit different depending on when this is uploaded loaded and what version is out and such. I'll try and make sure the latest version is on here, but currently as I'm recording this, it's going to be Icon Mask 1.05. I'm actually going to be referring to a Wolo.net article here, which goes into a little bit of a rundown of what you can do with this and such. And down here, there's also a download available. This is from Mega, and if you're not sure how to download this, just click on download here and then save this file somewhere you can easily find it. Make sure you have your package file on on hand and find your USB drive here. Make sure it is also formatted to FAT32 or XFAT. And then once it's all ready to go, just go into your USB drive, copy and paste the file itself to the root of it. And once it is transferred, you should be all good. There's not all too much else to it. So there we go. We can exit out of here, right click, eject our USB drive, and then transfer it over to the PlayStation 4. Over at the PS4, make sure you have already run the jailbreak payload, so I have already run Gold Hen on this. Then go ahead, go over to your settings, find your package installer, and then install whatever package you're wanting to install. In this case, we're going to be installing Icon Mask. Now, once this is all installed here, we can fire up Icon Mask, and it's pretty simple to use, and it's just going to be right there when we do everything. So I'll show you how simple this is. It's great. So right here, we're getting this where everything looks good. And this is exactly what we're looking for. Now, if you end up getting an error stating read write permissions cannot be obtained, like there's red text at the bottom, the way I've at least noticed that, I've gotten it a few times and really just to resolve that, I've been able to exit out of icon mask, close the application, reopen it and usually the next time I reopen it I'm able to get all the permissions. The only difference that permission really allows is that you'll be able to modify your system apps as well too. If you don't have it you can't modify the system apps but we kind of want everything to look all good. So from here it's pretty simple. You can just use L1 or R1 to change the mask here. So this is how the PlayStation 5 icons look and let's just run through them. The white border looks nice. Circle, circle with a white border, PS4 disc, PS4 box, Anubis, that one actually looks pretty slick. Anubis Polygon, Bubbles, Glass Box, Mechanic, this is one that I've definitely favored before. Nano Ring, Old Movie, Vita Hex, so everything is turned into a PlayStation Vita game. Vita Hex PS1, PS4 just by default if you want to do that. And that's about all there is to it. Now these are all the icons that have already been included on this. And at this point here, if you want to change it up, you can just enable if you want to apply this to system apps as well or not. That one I am doing here. And you can even have a transparent folder icon. So that's completely up to you if you want to do that. I'm not going to have mine transparent, but let's go ahead and find one that looks good. You know, I'm going to go with, let's see, let's go with the bubbles, why not? I do prefer Anubis Square, but just to show you all the difference on here, I want to pick something that stands out a little bit more. So once you make your selection, you just go down, you hit X on Apply, and you wait. Depending on how many applications you have installed, this could take a different amount of time depending on your system. We just have to sit here and wait for this to finish. And there we go. It's now saying here that we can reboot the PS4 to see the changes. So at this point, we're going to do exactly that. 
I'm going to reboot the PlayStation 4 and let's see what happens. Now, as you can see, the system has booted back up and check this out here. This is looking quite a bit different than what we had before and this is pretty cool. So I, I like how well this integrates in here. And you'll also notice as well too, I have padlocks on all of these. Because this is a X and B change, you don't have to enable the jailbreak itself in order to utilize this. So this is just all staying here as is. Like this is pretty cool to see. And even inside of here, check this out, everything has been changed. That's awesome. So if anybody is only wanting it, you know, sometimes here and there, it might not be directly for you. But to me, this is looking cool. Let's try out one more. All right, so the one that we use is cool, but I kind of want something just like clean that sticks out a bit. So I'm actually going to go with the Anubis square. And let's even make the transparent folder icon as well too. So just do the exact same thing. Mine takes maybe about a minute or so to do, but just wait and then reboot. So here we go, the PlayStation 4 has rebooted and it looks like we are all good at this point. I'm actually really liking this setup here, the Anubis Square one. I really like how this looks. Looks real clean, looks nice, especially with like the PlayStation games, for example. I didn't want, you know, a whole bunch of stuff cut off on there like you would see with the circular one. So this is actually a setup here and a mask that I would just run by default. And even if we go into the library, everything's looking real good here as well too. I'm really liking this one. Now there's a bunch of others available as well too, but let's say you want to just go back and revert your system to default, well that's pretty simple to do as well. To set this back to default, you just have to roll back over to the PS4 default, make sure you apply to system apps, do not have a transparent folder icon, and then hit apply. And that's about all there is to it. Once this is all done, you can restart your PlayStation 4. So there we go, I've restarted the PS4 yet again, and as you can see, everything is back to what it was before. This is the completely stock XMB that we started with from the beginning. So that's all there is to it. It's a very simple, very easy to use application, and if you ever want to revert it, you can do that and just run your PS4 like nothing ever happened. However, like I said, I, I do really like that last customization, so I think I am going to apply that and just run with it by default. And here we go. I would say this is a fair way to end the video. In short, I really like Icon Mask. Awesome job, Lappy. Thank you very much for releasing this to the community and supporting it so well. And this is definitely creeping up to be one of my favorite little homebrew applications just because, I mean, hey, it's not a major utility, but it's some way to easily customize quite a bit of the XMB on the PlayStation 4. And I think it will have a mask that everyone will enjoy on here. This is the one that I seem to be preferring right now. And this is just how I'm going to run my PS4 for a bit. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. This is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.